Adele struggled to remain composed at the emotional and touching Grenfell Tower memorial service, held six months to the day after the devastating fire that killed scores of residents. The bare-faced singer couldn't hold back the tears at St. Paul's Cathedral as 1,500 survivors, their family and friends paid tribute to the 18 children and 53 adults who died in the blaze. The award-winning pop star, dressed in black, stopped with actress Carrie Mulligan to speak to someone in the congregation before the service started earlier this month. Adele backed a petition calling for Prime Minister Theresa May to take urgent action to restore survivors' faith in the public inquiry. Posting a link to the petition, which has more than 16,000 signatures, said to be backed by families of around 50 victims, along with Grenfell United, an association of survivors from Grenfell Tower and nearby Grenfell Walk, Adele wrote, Please sign this with me. We need your help to sign and spread the petition and encourage others to do the same. It's been almost six months now, we must keep on talking about what is still not happening 20 The singer, who sat between Mulligan and her husband Marcus Mumford during the service, took an early interest in the aftermath of the blaze. At around 1 a.m. on June 15, she paid a low-key visit to the site, staying for around 15 minutes. Pictures of the star, who was born in Tottenham, North London, later emerged on Twitter. Six days after the tragedy, she surprised firefighters when she turned up to thank them for their work, by banging on the window and offering cake. The 29-year-old star visited firefighters for a cup of tea and a cuddle and joined them in a minute's silence at a fire station in Chelsea. Also attending the multi-faith memorial service this morning were Prince William and his wife Kate Middleton. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge looked grave-faced as they spoke with survivors and campaigners inside the cathedral and passed on their condolences. Prince Charles and his wife Camilla joined them, along with the newly engaged Prince Harry, whose fiancée Meghan Markle is currently in Los Angeles visiting her mother. Many of the attendees clutched cream roses and held up portraits of the family and friends who died in the inferno.